Hello and welcome back to Marvel Puzzle Quest with me, P.I. McLeod, on day 3921. Just a few days from that Nomura cover, which, you know, leads to more Okoye shards. That's always a good thing in my book. Um, we're here to finish up the welcoming to S.H.I.E.L.D. for Lady Octopus, which, you know, it's not here. It's over here. There she is. Um, I might be speaking a little quieter because I'm right next door to my sleeping boy and I'm trying to let him nap. But, um, yeah, I'm going to just see how this rock works. Whew. Hmm, I see a little preview of my chat over there on the side, which is kind of interesting. Huh. I hope that, I wonder if that changes. Hmm, I'm going to have to explore that later on. Uh, speaking of streaming stuff, real quick before I dive into this, I just want you all to know, thank you very much for your support over the years. It has been years for me now. Um, it's been a slow go. I know I'm just playing a mobile game, but I promised uh, additions and add-ons eventually, you know, as life gets better. And today is that day. Being Prime, one of the Prime Day offers, um, I went forward and made a bunch of PC purchases. So I'll be building a, a computer here pretty darn soon. And with that, um, I can start to up, you know, hook up my Switch, my Xbox, my other things to streaming capabilities. So that should be fun. Hey, Alton. How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. So, but enough about that. We're here for Lady Octopus. Let's get into it. The first two nodes are nice and soft. <laughs> We're just going to go into it and Thanos our way through them because honestly, there's no troubles with them. Use your loners if you have to. No big deal. Uh, Electro set. There we go. Where's Big Purple? There he is. Oh, I already had him set. Didn't even realize that. Uh, here we go. Let's just we just punch them in the face a bunch of times. Honestly, almost anyone you want to use is going to work through here. You can use your Polaris combos, your Chasm combos if you have them, or anyone else that would fit the bill. Um, shoot, you can use Beta Ray Bill if we're talking about bills. <laughs> But these easy ones don't need really much of a conversation. Just let them fall. Use your three-star Thanos if you have one and your four-star rocket and punch through people. No big deal. Nothing hard to talk about over here. This one included. This is probably the hardest of the Thanosable ones. But still, it's still just as easy to punch through. Um, I think we're set. Yeah, we are. Um, I would probably, mm, man, it's, it's tough to always choose, is it Medusa you punch because she's the healer, or do you punch Wolverine because he's lower health? Uh, I'm just gonna punch, uh, Wolverine. What do you think about Lady Ock? Um, uh, that's a good question, Alton. I think she's really cool in the fact that she has some good passive damage output. I think she's got, um, a good promise as another option for consistent four star damage on the passive spectrum uh, a lot of the things that work nowadays in this game are that people want and desire is passive consistent damage output and i think she delivers that she delivers it very well um unfortunately there's a lot of options there so it's kind of like a crowded scene does that make sense like when you have other four stars like gore um shoot ascending your three star omega red um, you have four stars like Polaris, like, um, you know, you know what I'm saying? There's just a lot of good meta people out there. It's just another one to add to the pile, but she does add some uniqueness in the ways that, um, she does have a bunch of multiple random hit things. And we have noticed that her random hits that her tentacles do don't care about people being invisible. And that's pretty noteworthy. So if the opponent or opponents happen to be invisible users, um, it can still reach them, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if she'd be meta or not yet, but at the same time, um, it's just something to think about. Her green is cheap, and she can put out tentacles pretty often. So I think that's really what it's going to come down to, is can you get your tentacles out quick enough to make it worth your while? Um, Peggy Carter, Deadpool, and Venom is probably the... is one of the harder nodes in this whole Welcome to Shield set, as long as you're, you know, not stacked on five stars. Um, I don't use five stars on this node because, well, they don't use five stars. Look, it's only all four stars. We don't need a five star to tackle this, and I want to show you guys how to get away with this. Um, 
This time around, oh, I'll just take those lightning round rewards. Thank you. This time around, we have, um, just to set the table, we have Peggy Carter with her yellow, basically saying that as long as she has 30% or more health, all of our, the opponent's, uh, powers are going to actively cost uh, four more AP. Really annoying. Um, Deadpool sits there with his black passive saying that if you hurt any of his allies for, I think it's like 1600 at this point or more damage, um, he puts down a one turn countdown and hits back for like almost 4k. It's pretty notable. It's, it's not, not good. Um, and then finally there's Venom who isn't doing a lot back there, but he's got a really cheap black for five black. He could do a nice heavy nuke. Um, also his yellow turns his whole team invisible. Um, while, so, and since Peggy and Deadpool are the problem children here, that's not a cool thing. Um, finally, um, Venom has, like, a passive where you have, like, I want to say it's, like, 14 or more AP. Um, he does some extra board destruction at the start of the turn, but it usually doesn't get that far at this point. Okay, so... Let's get into it. First things first, we want to destroy Deadpool so he doesn't protect for Peggy, then Peggy, then get rid of Venom. You wailed them to oblivion. <laughs> I don't blame you, man. Uh, this is for people who don't want to whale or don't have the whale option. Maybe they ran out of whale points. <laughs> There's a bunch of different ways this could or would have went down. Craven isn't going to help us too much here at this point. Um, Peggy's not making really any tiles to speak of. Um, Venom's not making any tiles to speak of. Deadpool's only making countdowns. So, Craven's not going to help us here unless we bring someone that make enemy tiles. And we already did that. We used Carnage in a previous Welcome to S.H.I.E.L.D. thing for Lady Octopus. So let's not, you know, beat the, beat the dead horse. Let's do something a little different. I still say we do something to feed Lady Octopus the, um, the values she needs and deserves question is, what do we do with that? Um, passive things are usually one of the best ways to go here because Peggy is making everything more expensive. You don't want to rely on, on actively casting powers just because of the idea of, you know, spending AP and you're spending more than you need to. So passive damage is usually a big, big deal here. Um, you could go with someone like Medusa, who is doing passive healing and AP generation if she does destroy enemy tiles. You could do um, you could do a whole Dark Veil vale thing and send people away, generating a ton of AP upon coming back from it. But of course, that requires an initial casting. Um, I'm trying to think of who else would be easy enough to run even vulture is like he's good but it's going to cost you 10 black ap to get up in the air instead of six it's a little bit of a shame even multiple man his zero cost ability is now cost four how annoying is that um sorry i missed that last one ultimate what was that those four star and five star nodes are just annoying i don't have five star vulture of those so this was my final fight oh i see did you, wait, I thought you had one cover five star vulture and hence you could use Deadpool to help you get through the last one. Am I wrong? I thought, I, was it you that mentioned that last time? Could be wrong. I used Silver Samurai last time, which actually would be a pretty good use here. Um... Four star doc would be kind of decent just to get rid of all the Deadpool nonsense. Those tentacles are passive. They, hmm, wait a minute, let's do that. If we have them on the same team, they both state friendly tentacles. That's a fun idea. Everything they state in here says friendly tentacle and they both make tentacle tiles. So I guess we're going to see now, once and for all, do they combine? I think they do. Here we go. I think this will be the way to go. Let's give this a try. Vulture was never on your roster. Oh, that's a shame, Alton. Um, hmm. Okay. Sorry to hear that. I guess you can't really do that last one without getting that. Hmm. I wish I could offer some sort of support on that, but I, if you don't have them, I can't help that. <laughs> 
kind of hurts me a little bit. I kind of try to help everyone if I can, and <laughs> I really can't help you without that character. It's a shame. Now remember, four star Doc Ock, not Lady Octopus, um, creates tentacles on blue, yellow, and black matches. So you want to get a lot of those out if you can. See all those tentacles out there? So we have all these tentacles going, and more dangerous is now active, even though four star Doc Ock oh, is the one that cast that. He's the one that made those tentacles, but Lady Octopus is the one whose passive is going off right now. It's kind of funny to think about. It's almost like they're sharing octopus arms. <laughs> hey, Amos, how's it going? The events that are just gear checks like that kind of suck. You mean the ones where are just like, oh, if you don't have the character, then um, you're not you don't you're not allowed into the party. I get it. Yeah, it's yeah. I, I'm not sure what to say about that. I, I, I totally understand what you're saying. To be 100% transparent, though, it doesn't take long to date these characters, and there's going to be suck moments like that. There really is. I'm not saying I endorse or condone it. It's just I know that it's it won't last too long. As long as you stick with the game and do your daily grinds, you'll, you'll get there. Whoever, whoever we're talking about, they'll get there. Um, where is... I don't know if I want that purple or not. I think I'll, I'll take it anyways, just to see if Lady Octopus can get up and running. Okay, don't match away all my tentacles, sirs. Call the arms goes out there. Look at this. Just constantly matching away my stuff. Okay, we're going to do a... Choose a non-yellow, we're going to gain AP in that color. Now in this case, I want to gain it for the blue. I know I have a bunch of black ready to go, but we really want to gain it for the blue. Because Doc Ock can use that to cast powers out. Let's go with like... What? We do... Do like this right here. We'll get free AP. Wait, wait a minute. Yeah, we'll do that. I was thinking of doing the swap, and that's not it. My bad. I was thinking entirely that it was the swap mechanic, and I was in the wrong frame of mind. That's what I get for trying to multitask in my head. I'll be getting the slots for new recruits is a slow process. I only just champed, gotten champed three-star king because he's going to be needed in next PvE. Dude, that is awesome. Not only is three-star king you know needed in next PvE or whatever, but more importantly, three-star king is a key contender for starting off your cheesy wins. Three-star king can open, opens up a whole new set of tricks for you. You can do all kinds of new things with a uh, three-star king, um, cheesing away a lot of victories. Plus, he opens up like new possibilities when it comes to um, getting free AP. Because there's a lot of powers that say, hey, um, spend X amount of AP, but then you also lose this other AP on the side. It's like an additional cost, um, you know, a cost for firing off as well. And King refunds that AP for you. Um, it's not worded so well, I'll admit, but just the idea that it's there is really cool. It's very abusable, actually. Ah, oh, do as Peggy says. I hate that ability. Obviously, being on the receiving end of it. God, that's tempting to do right now. I want to see if we can kill Deadpool first before we fire this off. This is actually a really damaging black. But let's see if we can kill Deadpool before we do that. Um, We don't have a lot of good matches right now. We don't use red on this team. I guess we use purple though, so can you die already, Wade? Be really nice. Be it'd be convenient if you just, you know, perished right now. Thank you. Was it I actually started playing PvP more, 150 HP each event just from progression is not bad. Yeah, no, I, I don't blame you. I I would do it more if I put more time aside for this game, but believe it or not, I don't put a ton of time aside for this game. <laughs> It might not seem like it from an outsider's perspective, but yeah, I just do my daily grind, nice and diligent. That's that's all there is to what I do. Can I fire this now? I think I do. 
Um, I'm gonna take that blue to the face. Oh, I lost my one turn countdown. Ugh. And there goes that one as well. Jeez, Peggy, can you be more annoying? Let's make some tiles. Oh, cool. Make it down there where it's matchable with the other ones. Thank you, game. Lumen's gonna need 25 wins, though. Another 25 just get some CP is not worth it to me. Yeah, I don't blame you. 25 more? It's like doubling the amount of wins just for some more CP. I mean, CP is really good. Don't get me wrong. But, um, you know, this is such a thing as, like, uh, work-life balance. <laughs> and sometimes this game can feel like work, and it never should. Never should make a game feel like work. Let's get some more tentacles out here. We really need more of them. There we go. Oh my god, we got special tiles. That's crazy. Who knew would have thought? Um, there's really no reason to take that team up, AP. <sighs> but what are we going to do? Delete my own yellow? My own yellow protectile? I guess I could. Ugh, this is yucky. I don't like that Peggy's invisible. Bad things happen. I thought for sure we would be full of tentacle tiles with this team up. But it is not working that way at all. Let's take this one so the match four doesn't kill our yellow tentacle. Or oh, never mind, there it goes anyways. Wow. Life uh, finds a way. <laughs> Get that yellow back. There we go. Get some more yellow here. Gain AP in it. Let's do it on the blue again. Yeah, same, Alton. I do love her blue. It's just the fact that it's not fortified when it comes out, that it is totally vulnerable to people just messing with it. I'm going to cast it again because it, it is good. It just sucks that you're totally vulnerable otherwise. I gotta re bring her down. She has too much health, too many problems she's causing. Oh boy. I g good thing they don't have really any use for green on that team. I almost moved this black to the side, but that would make them a match five of green. And that is not wise. Do not allow that. Let's go get some purple. I can cast another repeater out there. There goes my yellow again. <sighs> oh, hey, she's down lower on health, so we can now cast things for normal prices. Yay! Um, let's do the yellow on blue. We can generate a ton of blue then. We still have that cyber upgrade out there. That's good. Get out a VR thingy, thingamabob. Um, we could do a tile swap. That could be fun. Something like, we should probably get the colors we don't have yet. And then we can use the black to nuke, right? So we have a red tentacle, a black, a blue, a green. We don't have a yellow or a purple, huh? So if we swap this yellow with this purple, Cool, we have one of each color now. Since we have one of each color tentacle, four star Doc Ox call to arms is actually pretty damaging, but you need one of each color to do it. There we go. Beautiful. <sighs> that didn't work nearly as well as I wanted it to, but I mean, it is fun to still have all the tentacle options. Just still, didn't work as well as I wanted. I think the fact that um, four star Doc Ock kind of gets rid of the purpose of her her green and changes it to black pretty immediately. Now they're vying for black AP. Doesn't help. But still, at the same time, she doesn't have to cast a power to make tentacles because of four star Doc Ock. So, you know. 
it's still early. <laughs> I could think of other ways to do it. If Maybe if we had a better partner than Craven. How about that? Maybe that would help it out. Anyways, here we go. The big highlight, the big reason we like this day. Fighting Mordo, the thing, in Star-Lord. Um, let's figure out this one. Uh, let's set it up here. The thing sits there protecting his allies with his yellow passive. That basically states if his allies are lower health than him, um, he will jump in front of them if they are to receive a, basically about 16,000 damage. Sounds like a lot, but you're going to need to do heavy damage output to get through this uh, thing unscathed. Uh, also, his red is a nice beefy nuke with a two-turn stun, and his green is an even bigger nuke with board shake. Thing is not to be messed with. Star-Lord is sitting over there in the, in the back being protected by him with a yellow passive that says, if you cast an active power, not passive, just an active power, he puts out a two-turn yellow countdown that says all of his team's red, blue, green, and yellow abilities are lower cost by two. Okay? So note, the thing uses a red and a green ability. Star-Lord has a red ability. Mordo has a blue ability. All those abilities are two, minus two cost, while, the, while at least one of those countdowns is out there. And when one of those countdowns expires, they get like a free extra two random AP. Um, also, Star Lord's red is a is a mini nuke. We'll call it that. That um, actually does damage the more countdowns they have out there. And his purple is just a team damage, but it's not a lot of team damage. It's not worth writing home about. And finally, Mordo is actually the real damaging threat out there. If Thing wasn't a, a threat enough. Mortal's blue will just knock you out. It does like 65,000 damage. Um, his black uh, does is probably his easiest one to get by with. It does only like 18k. Uh, can do more if he has a lot of black charge tiles on the board, but that doesn't happen that often. His purple punishes you for stockpiling AP, though, so you can't hoard a ton of AP and think that Mortal's going to let you get away with it. The only thing that I can say is a weakness on this team is you have to think about either A, just nuking them super hard and fast if you could do that, B, just keep them stun locked, or C, have a way to, I don't know, resurrect yourself, come back from the dead, things that can actually prolong the fight beyond what most fights would go. These three are definitely a really good team when you when going together. Order of operations is generally you want to kill Star-Lord first so you can get rid of that whole minus two AP junk. Uh, oops, I sat there too long. <laughs> uh, the thing, um, you want to get rid of him next for that whole protection bit, and then Mordo last. I know Mordo's the most dangerous one, but if his things are cheaper or he's protected by Thing, that's where he becomes even more of a threat. <sighs> we have to use Vulture. Vulture is going to generate us some red, yellow, and black AP. Um, we already used last time, we used Apocalypse against them and uh, against Riri and Mockingbird, and it worked well. And then we went through again because we're masochists and used four star Silver Samurai just to see if a four star would work. And it worked beautifully as well. It took a little longer, but it worked just as well. Um, so let's shrink this down again let's see what else we could do with yellow red and black options we could probably go with a whole different game plan honestly we don't have to stick with these guys but i mean never hurt <laughs> i'm kind of want to try phyla vel if only for the idea that if she her if her blue boosts power Philavel has all those countdowns out there on the board for making matches. That could be really fun. Um, beyond that, for red, black, and yellow, I don't think Omega Red would do enough damage fast enough, which sounds crazy, I know. But he's not boosted or anything, right? So he's just doing standard team damage. And I, I know it sounds kind of silly to say, but that's what he's doing. Um... It's not enough to kill someone outright. You kind of need a longer game plan. His red would be good. Maybe Vulture feeding him red would be nice, but I think Vilevel is going to do better in this department. Um, if I take off the color filters 
anyone else's stands out that would help with Vulture or Lady Octopus. I could see maybe, maybe like five star Captain Marvel because her yellow could put Vulture in the air as well. So they could trade AP back and forth. Basically, Marvel would put Vulture into the air. Vulture goes in the air, makes more yellow. Marvel could keep just throwing people in the air all day long, keeping that AP spam going. That could be fun. But you'd have to get it off at least once to start that train. Um, that's an interesting thought. I don't know. What else? I'm trying to think of anything else obvious. Hmm, what's that, Alton? You recently ascended one star stomach to three star and got a surprise that her powers got even better than at two star ascension. Green now destroys 19 tiles up from, I think, 14. And black now makes 42 attack tiles up from 37. Yeah, that is cool. I, a lot of, some powers change like that, and it's kind of cool. Some powers don't change like that, though. They change for the worse. Uh, fun little factoid, three star Iron May boosts all team damage and uh, power damage by like 100% or something like that, right? At 4-star, it goes up to 200%, but at 5-star, it drops down to like 80 or 75%. So, in other words, 3-star Iron May, you want to ascend to 4-star, but then stop. <laughs> it's very strange. It almost makes you wish there was some way to preview ascension powers before committing to it. Um, I think we'll stick with Philavel. Everyone else here seems like it's going to be more complicated than what it's worth. Um, Eric, is that a bug or intentional? Um, honestly, I think it's intentional. Um, not the, to punish the players, but I think the developers intentionally made it so that because uh, a, a five-star Iron May her boost actually mixes with certain other people's boosts. It's already been tested out. I don't know the whole list of people. It's on Reddit if you want to look it up. Probably on Discord too. But um, yeah, the, her boost actually mixes with other boosts. So if you had a 200% boost at 5-star mixed with, I don't know, Emma Frost or other people that can boost, it could get ugly. Ugly super fast. And by the way, thanks, Eric. Welcome to the chat. I'll just go with Phylavel for now sitting here too long talking about this <laughs> you see her paired with phoenix colossus and pvp a lot yeah that would that could be disgusting <laughs> um assuming that colossus's self boost mixes with iron may because it i can't claim whether it does or not i haven't tried that out myself but I could see how, because Colossus just does a self-boost for match damage. And if Iron May boosts on top of that, that could get really disgusting. I have to try that out in my free time. I'll let you all know what I get. <laughs> That's a kind of an interesting proposal there. Let's hit Star-Lord in the face as much as we can, because it's fun to hit him in the face. Um, let's go... I want to make as many... Okay, when you're using Phylavel, in case you're not aware, five-star Phylavel loves to be the center of attention, meaning you got to use her to make as many matches as possible. You're not trying to make like a big like match four, match five. Make as many little matches as possible. Because um, for every match she makes, she makes one of these countdowns, and I'm only going to get one out of this. But those... Okay, you look at the cascade they get. Figures, right? Um, but yeah, every one of these countdowns does damage. Just permanent damage. Um, and that's kind of the whole deal with her, is that you're going to keep penny and nickeling people, and if I can get that matched with Lady Octopus's blue boost, that could be fun times. Um, I honestly don't know if this build's going to work here. I'm literally just trying this because I know Vulture does a good job with this. Ooh, I could cast this now, but that means... <sighs> we should do it now. Star-Lord doesn't have enough AP 
or I should say the whole team doesn't have enough AP to take advantage of this. So cast this now before they have a ton of AP. This basically means that now Phylavel is the center of attention on the team. All of her matches, every color is going to be her match no matter what. Next, neat thing about Lady Aka found is that unlike Emma Frost, for example, her plus one ability level boost on blue works even on powers you don't have unlocked. Yeah, it is kind of cool. Um, I'm not going to lie. That's, that's something I did not know. That's very neat. Okay, I would really like some blue AP now. But I want it to make as many matches as possible when getting it. I'm going to take this green. I'm just going to hope it went into a blue, but it didn't. What would this do? Make some tentacle tiles? That's tempting. But if I cast it, it's going to make their green cost too cheaper and they're starting to grow. They're starting to get a lot of stuff here. I don't know. I think we're just going to do this for now. It was a cascade and I wanted it. Yeah, cascades are nice for sure. What do we got here? Convert three green basics into protects and three red basics into strikes. Um, I don't know if that's worth it right now. I think I want that blue finally. Yay, more stuff. Oh, there's the boost. Do I take the boost now? I think I need to. Wait, this stuns the enemy. I just realized that. I got lucky enough to have a hypersonic punch in my back pocket. I think I'm going to use it. Boop. Just going to punch him in the face. Yeah, you guys noticed when I picked up my roster, I didn't intentionally pick that. That was just randomly in there. So if you have one, great. But now I'm going to cast this with the cybernetic enhancement. So that's our booster. We'll get some tentacles out there. And do I do the yellow? Make some protects, make some strikes. Yeah, why not? Wouldn't hurt anything. Quite the opposite, in fact. Is that Alton? By the way, is it appropriate to call her Octop? <laughs> it might be just a little inappropriate. You know what? In your own time, in your own spare you know, wherever you're at, sure, call her what you want. <laughs> I, I just can't do it here on stream. <laughs> it's a, not a kosher thing to do. Um, plus 10%. Yeah, let's see if we can do this. Can I... Oh, boy. He's got nine green. This green costs 12 he would bring it up. He'd basically be one short of casting that green. Ooh. It's, I think it's worth doing. If I can kill him now. Like now, now. Oh, there's this too. 17,000 team damage. Um, stun the target for three turns. Then destroy a random enemy countdown or repeater. Then remove all friendly tentacles. I think that's worth it. If I target Thing... That way he won't jump in front or block anything. I don't think he would anyways, but let's be safe, right? Star-Lord would die. Thing would get stunned. Morlord's just going to sit there with egg on his face. That sounds good. Mordo. I think I said his name wrong. There we go. Okay, let's keep working on Thing in the meantime. We'll do... Do I take that blue? I think I gotta take the blue because Mordo will take it and that blue is super painful. Oh, I got rid of a lot of my file of L countdowns. What a meanie. Um, I take the team up. They're not gonna do much with the team up. I could probably let them have it. Let's do a red into purple combo because then we'll have some AP to cast a few things. Now I can go steal three from the blue and the green, which is nice. Then go airborne. Yeah, I could. that would be good. 
Let's do that. We'll generate some AP. The whole reason for bringing a red, yellow, black person into the fight, right? Deal permanent damage, destroy any Oblivion Countdown tiles, dealing percent damage of the remaining. Is there any Cascades I could do first? You want to make as many of those Phylavel Countdowns as you can before you cast it. It's just a smart thing to do. Are we all noticing that Lady Octopus is dealing most of the damage here on the board? Phylavel has the red, yellow, and black. Wow. I guess she really is boosted. <laughs> yeah, let's just do it now. Boop. There was only the one, but it's okay. There's no red, yellow, or black matches. I'm looking for them. Well, that's shenanigans. I guess we'll, um... We'll take the purple. I don't want to leave him a blue, because that's really scary if Mortal gets that blue he wants. I don't want to take the green, because a lot of those greens leave him a blue. Take that one. Oh, no. Only <laughs> two stunned and an airborne. That's not good. No, now we're invisible, because... <laughs> because... <laughs> Because he came back down for being airborne. Now he's invisible. That's what Vulture does. So... Fun fact. Didn't think this uh, situation would happen. But here we are. Okay. What was that, Alton? Also what I learned while playing PvP was support. Some of them are in serious need of rebalance. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, some of them are really super good. It's just kind of obvious. There's certain ones that are just game-breakingly good. Um, some of them are just not even present. They're just not in the conversation. Uh, I need to cast this again. Um, it's, it's kind of a shame because some of the supports are really fun for PvE purposes. I almost... I kind of wish they had, like, a system where... Here's what the support does. And, oh, shoot. Ouch. Whew, thank God for that cyber upgrade. This thing right here, that cyber upgrade doing 55% less damage. I only took 30,000 damage from that. That was a big deal. Anyways, um, as I was saying, yeah, some of the supports, I kind of wish it was just like, uh, here's what they should do in PvE. And then this is what they do in PvP. You know, give them like two different sets of rules because, you know, one is not like the other. That's really just all it comes down to. Yeah, let's get that, get her out in front. Oh god, clobber in time. She's stunned. That cyber enhancement is really, really saving the day. Let's steal some more AP, get up in the air. That's crazy how much it's saving. Saving our keisters. Um, let's fortify it and add some turns to it. Yeah, eight turns of that stuff. That's good. Like I see Mighty Thor with the Omnipotent City. Nope, skipping that nonsense. <laughs> I, I can't blame you one bit. <laughs> it is uh, quite obnoxious. There's a lot of them that are really good, though. If you see certain characters with, like... Oh, cool, I got a level 5 power stone. Oh, cute. You know, obviously um, certain characters with the Fantastic are. Ugh. Anyways, I'm, I'm, di I'm digressing. Um, can we do... I'm going to kill my own black tentacle already. This sucks. Yeah, it's worth it, I guess. There we go. Give me that yellow from the invisibility. Yes. Very nice. Do I take the green? I feel like I do so I can get more tentacles out there. I think that passive damage is really something I'm missing out on here. There we go. Get more of that going. I can't let them get more purple. One more purple and I think um, Mordo gets to go off. Yeah, nine purple. Yeah, one more and he's... 
he's gonna have a field day on me and I don't like it. Let me match that black. We can get rid of the thing. Uh, if I cast this again, what's it do? Increase the base match damage of each of the file bills match strings to the strongest on the team, and that color plus 10% for four turns. Okay. So it doesn't... It only lasts for four turns. So when you cast it again while it's already going, is it fine? I'm going to find out. Yep, it just resets the timer. Okay, that's fine. Haven't had that situation come up yet where I had enough to cast it again. Okay, just, you know, get rid of a lot of my... Oh boy, they have a lot of purple. We're going to eat that one, aren't we? It's not going to be fun. Let's go... Father Vell's probably going to die from this, but it's okay. She did what she needed to do. Oh, she lives! Thanks to that... Wow. I want to remark. This cyber upgrade is amazing. <laughs> the fact that this team can't get rid of tiles as easily as they should um, really helped out. In case the Eros Arrow, Eros Arrow, apparently there could be only one on the board, so if you have it, the AI won't get theirs. Oh, that's interesting. I did not know that, Alton. Very cool. Look at you coming through with the knowledge. Very neat, dude. Um, let's add some turns to that. If it's going to last that long. Add some tentacles to the board. And we'll get some matches with Phyla Vell so we get some more Oblivion. Jeez, he's just laying on the damage on her. There goes Phyla. Oh, well. It's up to Vulture and Lady Octopus. And honestly, I think they have it in spades. Let's take this black. Oh boy, they're gonna cast the purple again. If we let them, do, 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 do. Let's go. Isn't this blue one take him into the skies? Yes, it does. And then doesn't this green one drop him on his face? It does. What does this green one do? More tentacles. Let's drop him on his face. Oop. It didn't do any damage. Did I miss something there? It's supposed to like deal extra damage if they're if they're airborne. It's supposed to deal extra damage if they're airborne. I mean, it's kind of annoying. I think it was. I think that's a bug. Hey, Eric, if you're still there, I think we found a bug. <laughs> it's. That's the whole purpose is you're supposed to go up in the sky and then drop them on their face. Um, oh well, we're more dangerous. Whatever. Get out of here. <laughs> Came from your use of Shang-Chi with it whenever I fought enemies having and they never got their countdown so they could only be one. That's cool, Alton. Dark. Hey, Dark. Jeez. Well, you made it in time for the fun one. We just got done with the Mordo thing, Star-Lord ordeal. Uh, we used Phylavel. Um, the idea being using Lady Octopus's blue to enhance all the Phylavel countdowns, as well as her tentacles, as well as, you know, just any sort of passive damage we get output. And then that 55% damage reduction she has with that blue as well saved our butts a ton of times with against, you know, Mordo and Thing. So it works. Uh, she's definitely proving herself really cool with that blue. But now time for the fun one. Let's, um, Let's, uh, where's the option for... Let's go turn on the animations, because honestly, on this last one, you could just see everyone go ham. That's really cool. I like to see everyone go ham. Not spider ham. I know John's watching from a distance somewhere. Him and his love for the animals. Um, uh, loner. Loner and loner. Cool, Dark. Good luck with it, man. Um, there we go. We're all good with our loners because they're all 550, 480, 320. Ridiculous levels and damage. And let's go. <sighs> let's say, well, I don't know. There's a lot of green down there. We should probably just go with that. Mm. 
we should probably get tentacles going. Every time I see those tentacles go up like that, I I know it's a Dr. Octopus. However, my, my lizard brain is sitting there like thinking Omega Red. Because Omega Red, like in all the video games, and you know, it's just all about whipping those tentacles around, right? That's where my brain goes immediately. I'm not even like a big Omega Red fan. It's just I've played enough Marvel vs. Capcom in the past <laughs> to know, you know, to know about this. Lady Ock and Green Goblin, he would automatically fortify her stuff. Um, I mean, fortify her countdown, sure, but the tentacles wouldn't be touched. Sure, I get it. But you could say the same thing for Hawkeye, too. Five Star Hawkeye could do that. And Five Star Hawkeye would help produce more blue if you want to go for that route. Her and Ock make a nice couple. She uses tentacle tiles to do even more damage. Yeah, it's true. It's true. They they worked, but they it, did, it wasn't as fast as I wanted it to be. It wasn't. Uh, it was kind of un, unfortunate. Let's throw out that wounded pride for a minute here. <laughs> yeah, I gotta admit, for Craven sucking so much, at least his animation is cool. <laughs> I like that Wounded Pride animation. There we go. Should we go up in the air? I feel like we should strengthen people first. Let's get that going. Gotta work on the computer, get your cup of joe. Lady Octopus knows how to work. Get some more tentacles on the board. We'll take some more black, sure. Um, should we do something with this? We probably should just like I don't know. Can we do that? Maybe maybe we should do the repeater first. Let's get the purple and make the repeater, right? Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Go with this. Was that Alton? Hey, don't just my boy Craven like that. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. He's just eh, once upon a time he had his time in the in the in the spotlight back when uh, Rocket was the biggest threat in the game. <laughs> he just you know does he lacks that punch now. <laughs> Craven makes it so easy to mock him. <laughs> Poor Craven. I mean, if I'm being honest, I'm kind of looking forward to the movie. If I see it, I hope I will. <laughs> okay, you can stop doing that. Come on, man. Who is that? You, Ninja? You got that thing going on? You do. That's the cyber upgrade. We got to keep that going. Boost that thing. There we go. Um, we need more tentacles. And we should probably use the tentacles more. Get that VR wave going. Okay. Can we do anything over here? Anything for funsies? Do some trickery? Nah. We'll probably just... We'll stun this guy so he can't get that, uh, that countdown off. For no good reason other than just because I said so. There we go. How dare he get a countdown close to completion? And there's an annoying robot out there too. Not fun. This will kill all of them. No, it doesn't kill them all. Dang. Oh, actually it will because of the VR upgrade, right? Let's go with it. See what happens. Yep, it did the job. It got rid of those jerks. V the, the whole cyber upgrade did the deal. But now I gotta cast tentacles all over again. Oh darn. Huh, what was that creating? Not as easy as Pucker Reptile. Yes, you're true. That is not as easy as Pucker Reptile. Um Dark saying passive is the only thing that puts them above reptile and pucked here. Yes. hundred <laughs> percent. I I hate to say it, but it's true. 
at least it's something that's pretty useful still in that regard. Um, cause yeah, whoa, that was a lot of match damage. Is that the cyber upgrade doing that? Oh, not the peacemaker. Just deal more. Yeah, it is. It's the extra damage from that. Jeez, I didn't realize how much extra that was putting out. Give me some blue. There we go. Thank you for the free blue AP peacemaker. And now that we still have a cyber upgrade out there, I don't need to cast it anymore. Well, at least not this time. Should we put it out there? I mean, just because of Ultim, you know, here you go, buddy. We'll use Craven's most dangerous game. Look at him go. Look at him go. He did a thing. So he has a trap out there, right up here, right? So we get one extra AP stolen from the enemy every turn. It's still so dumb. It costs like 10 AP. And you only get one AP every turn it's out there. I still argue that they need to buff that big time. Yeah, black isn't half bad. Yeah. Yeah, this blue is bad. But, I mean, I'm going to take one AP from the enemy. Whew. Wow. Slow down there, Craven. That's some pretty hardcore stuff. <laughs> there we go. I almost want to take that yellow out, but I just, like, there's no reason to. Let's take this team up. I can kill the muscle. Muscle's got some scary countdowns. They don't go off that often, but when they do, they hurt. Hurts a ton. Let's go over here and get the sniper or hitman. I, c I couldn't remember his name. Been a long time since I looked at their names. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I've always wanted to find a way to use Puck's passive because it looks like, looks like a lot of damage you could put out, but it's just so situational. Is there no other match besides matching Craven's one and only trap away? <sighs> See, even Craven sucks at putting out traps. Come on, freaking Hunter. <laughs> That's the last time you use your blue. <laughs> um, we need the cyber upgrade again, don't we? Yeah, we do. It does do that far too often. But, I mean, we get enough wins as players under our belt where you kind of, like, can't help but look at it as, as like, some sort of confirmation bias. Oh no, they have an actual tile mover on their team. No! How dare they do two damage to Craven? Oh, the VR thing actually did something. That probably is Lady Octopus' worst ability. A three turn repeater. You know how many things happen in three turns? Three turns is too long in this game for, for a repeater to take. Yeah, too, too many. This is true. Like, two-turn repeaters are okay, but, like, it has to be a good effect. Like, a real substantial good effect. But, like, one turn's where it's at. Let's just call it what it is. And just like that, it's over. It's true. It's all done. Yay! Lady Octopus, you did it. Woo, you're so cool. Woo! anyways <laughs> thank you thank you that is lady octopus slash carolyn trainers four star welcome to shield yay she's kind of cool um she definitely is a nice right hand man to four star doc ock i think she's got some cool passive damage output that blue cyber upgrade thing is really good but unfortunately it is locked to a unfortified countdown so you got to be careful with that. That could be your undoing if you're relying on it because there's ways to abuse that big time. 
but uh, anyways, I digress. You should all know the dangers of having a single countdown out there. Ahem, Kitty Pride. Okay. Yeah, it's, um, so what are your impressions of Lady Gaga? I, love, I just said it without even, not even reading your thing, Doc. Uh, dark, sorry about that. I think she's cool, though, in the end. I just think, I don't think she's four-star Doc Ock cool. I don't think she's as good as some of the other iterations we had. But she definitely does have nice passive damage output. Kind of reminds me of Gore in the fact that you could easily just have constant passive damage output. But the problem is you need to cast three green right off the rip to get two tentacles out. Um, three green is cheap, but still you got to have it. Gore just starts with it out there. I think if I if I was at the helm, I think Lady Oc to make her really good, she should have started with two tentacles on the board. Like... You should start with two tentacles and maybe make her green cost four. And that gets you your other two tentacles out. That's just me thinking out loud. But I, I don't think... I think we've reached a point in the game where, like, if you don't have instant gratification, then the character gets overlooked by all the other things we have out there nowadays. Um, there's so many other passive ways to deal with this game. You need to be a little quicker to the draw. So, anyways... Well, that's it. Um, thank you very much for watching. I know we have to have pretty darn soon a new legendary store, right? Like, he's gonna... Uh, the Kane's gonna drop in there sometime soon. I'm not sitting here, like, gonna tell you all the dates and times and whatnot, but just know that I will do another pull session, of course, with my CP as soon as it gets up there. So, okay. Well... Thank you very much for watching. Thanks, Dark. Thanks, Alton. Thanks, Eric, first timer. I really appreciate it. And um, I'll see you guys really, really soon. Thanks again. Oh, and Amos. I oh, almost forgot. How could I forget you? <laughs> Later, guys.